This video is on electric fields, and so in order to start, I wanted to do a warm up, suspend your warm up page, on uh, gravitational fields. A uh, field is anything that has a force that kind of changes with distance. So let's review in preparation for the final. Planet B is twice the distance from the Sun as planet A. So, how does gravity between B and the Sun compare to between A and the Sun? First thing you need to ask yourself, should it be stronger or weaker? And then how much? So pause the video, see if you can figure it out. Here's your answer. Uh, let me put on this one right here. The answer is, it's one-fourth. Because of what's called the inverse squared law. Mass is constant, G is constant. The only thing that's changing is distance. And if distance is squared, and it's twice the distance squared equals one fourth. Pretty, pretty easy. And we're going to see that electric fields actually work the exact same way when it comes to changing distance. All right, so what we know so far is, one, atoms are made of positively charged protons and negatively charged neutrons. Opposite charges attract, like charges repel. An object becomes changed when there is an unbalance of positive and negative charge. The bigger the difference in positive and negatives, the bigger the attraction. So two negative charges will repel each other with less force than if you had, say, ten. All right, so today this lesson will cover how charges create electric fields, more common charges in a stronger field, work against electric fields, we're not going to get to that, but we will go over the common unit of electricity and charge. All right, so these are electric fields. The same way gravity has like field lines, the closer the lines are together, the stronger the field. going to watch this really quick. Here's some examples. So when we have a positive and negative charge, just to review, these lines are going to attract each other. And it should look like this. So these are, what we have here are two charges put in with oil and metal. And so the little shavings of metal line up along the electric field lines. So we can see they're kind of coming out and coming around. And here's how we draw them we draw them out of the positive and into the negative side. So we'll call this one negative and this one positive. So kind of draw this diagram right here, but you don't have to do it too big. It comes out of the positive and into the negative. So that's the first thing. Let's get rid of this picture. So field lines travel away from or out of and into negative charges. That's why they attract. So add that to your notes. But what if we have light charges, like charges? Oops. Excuse me. Well, like charges, let's say these are two positives. What's going to happen is they're going to come out, but then they're going to push off each other. They can't attract each other. They don't like each other. So these ones never connect. They push off. And you can kind of see the way the metal lines are pushing off. So draw, di diagram this example between two positive charges put in close proximity. Here's how the field lines look. They're not connecting now. They push away. Well, so 
So have that example between two positives, draw in small. Here's what two negatives would look like. Let's say these are negative charges. The only difference is now they're coming into the negative charges, but their origins aren't touching. And so they still repel. In the test, I might give you um, four different examples, and you would have to tell me which is which. Just by the direction of the arrows, you know that's two positives, two negatives, or a positive and a negative combining. So again, we have, these are called electric field lines. So I might ask you something, here's a sample question. Diagram electric fields between two point charges and predict how they will move if released. So I would like you to draw the arrows. I could, it could be a positive and a positive. If I were to give you this. draw the lines and how they'll move if they're released. For example, the lines you have, if they were released, they would look something like this, farther apart, because like charges repel. Okay. The next thing about electric field lines, I'm going to add a slide really quick. I'm going to dye it black so it's easy to see. All right, and white-ish. Uh, oh boy, black. Electric fields are stronger if two two ways to make electric fields stronger. Number one, add more charges. Therefore, the electric fields will be stronger. Oops. There can be an electric field pushing these away, but if I add a bunch, well, now that electric field's going to be stronger, and they'll push away faster because there'll be more force, there'll be more acceleration. So the number one way to make a field stronger, or I could make it an attractive field between positives and negatives, you just add more charges and the field gets stronger. And just like gravity, the other way to make them stronger is put the charges closer together. We're going to learn how batteries work and it's very much related to this. If the charges are closer together, it gets stronger. And if you move the charges away, it gets weak. So it's, it's actually super similar. We have this formula for gravity. The formula looks like this. The mass of one object times the mass of two objects divided by the distance between times this constant. Gravity is always attractive. It increases with mass. And it's inverse squared relation to distance. Here is Coulomb's law which is the strength of an electric field force. And so we're going to go force electric. Equals Coulomb's constant. Charge 1. times charge 2 and I'll draw this I'll just draw it divided by the distance between them so 
squared. So it's super, super similar. Some other similarities and differences can be attractive or repulsive. Increases with charge. Inverse square relation to distance. So if you cut the distance in half, if the distance is half, that's one fourth time, and then you invert it four times the original strength. Let's see that again. If you cut the distance in half, invert it, inverse, and then square it, equals four times the original force. So here's two examples. Try this on your own, and then I'll give you the answers. The distance is third. Distance is related to inverse squared. It doesn't matter. These could be two negatives or two positives. The only difference will be the change in direction. But the actual strength will be first invert it, 3 over 1, and then square it. 9 times the original force. Inverse squared law. Number 2. Try this on your own. D, four times as much. All right, that was it. Uh, there'll be some more practice online. Good luck.